So in this video, I'm not going to review a camera backpack, but just a regular uh, laptop backpack uh, for everyday use. Uh, and this one is the uh, Thule 18 liter en route backpack. Uh, I think this is one of the best backpacks for an everyday carry, especially if it's just to and from the office every day. And in this video, I'll go over some of the reasons why I think so. Uh, but firstly, I'll just talk about some of the features. Uh, so this bag is an 18 liter backpack, as I mentioned. So the main compartment has a laptop sleeve, a tablet sleeve, uh, the main, the rest of the compartment, as well as just one more zip, uh, one more zippered pocket here. Um, but other than that, there is no other organization to the pocket, no pen holders and or things like that. Then, then there's only two other pockets. So there's a vertical stash pocket and this bag, I guess, is called the en, en route. So it's supposed to be marketed as maybe like a traveling backpack. Uh, so perhaps they sized it to fit like something like a boarding pass. But, you know, there's not there's no other organization within that pocket. I do find it just about the right size, any larger, and it's probably too cavernous to, you know, for stuff to slosh around. But you can, you know, stick pens and, and uh, you know, things like boarding passes, uh, pieces of paper and stuff there. And lastly, they have one more pocket here, which I actually find quite useful. And so this is, um, uh, this is a pocket that, you know, you, you could put your, um, your cell phone or, or, or sunglasses like I have here. And the two parts about that that make it suitable is firstly that the pocket is kind of has the soft lining so it won't scratch uh, your your glasses, I guess, if you had it there. So secondly, it has a, a hardened shell on the outside so you won't crush your sunglasses accidentally. Um, other features of this bag, so it is a bit weather resistant, it's not waterproof. Uh, the good th one thing, the sunglass case or the top pocket here is it is more uh, water water sealed. Um, so even though the the top pocket does not have the same zip seal, uh, it does kind of it does have a uh, a lip that uh, covers it in case things do get wet. Uh, the rest of the bag, you know, standard handle, comfortable and thin shoulder straps, and there is some padding at the back. Uh, for comfort as well as uh, aerating on, on warm days. Uh, overall, I do like this this kind of backpack and I think it is one of the best examples of its kind. First, the first thing I would say is it's actually a pretty small backpack and I think that's, that's the reason why I would say it, it suits the needs of an everyday carry for office use. Um, I guess what I'm comparing this against our usual, you know, the usual 30 liter, 25 liter backpacks that are really meant for uh, college students or, or students in general, uh, which would give you enough space to put in like, you know, several textbooks. But uh, I guess if you're just going to and from the office, especially if you have an office where you can store, then you don't really need to be bringing stuff to and from the office every day. And so you don't need as much space. So I like it for that, uh, that purpose. Uh, in terms of the design, I kind of how it looks. It strikes up a nice balance between not looking too much like a school backpack, not looking too futuristic, and also not look uh, too much that outdoor hiking gear type look. Uh, so it's kind of perfect for me. Uh, I don't have too much cons for this bag. I would say maybe the number one is when, if you live in warmer areas, it, it does get a little bit hot on the back. Uh, I do, I have used this as a walk around bag during travel and it is, it's been okay. And you do tend to sweat in the back a little bit, but I think you'd have to have a bag that's probably more that outdoor hiking gear, hiking gear type with dedicated, you know, like vent back ventilator to, to do away with that. So otherwise, I think it's fine. Um, I like many uh, regular bags. I do find that it all does not sit flatly at the bottom. And I, I don't like that I, I can't really set it down without it tipping over. And also there is no support at the bottom here. Uh, and so if you had something fragile, uh, then, you know, you have to be careful about not dropping uh, down on the floor. So the laptop, the laptop sleeve is, is elevated from the bottom a little bit. So you do have some leniency there in terms of, again, that same, same issue about dropping stuff too hard when you set the bag on the ground. 
There's other things here like lash points if you're using this for biking, um, which, which I don't. Uh, and the other one is it is actually reflective at night. So the, the, these, the, this, the name plus these, uh, these points are actually quite reflective at night. So that gives you some protection if you're walking around at night with this bag. Uh, otherwise, yeah, it's a pretty short review, but uh, I do this a uh, lot uh, from tool.